Welcome. We are Scott and Angel Anderson. And I happen to be married to a woman who is so enthusiastic about family history. In fact, she's called the family history enthusiastical. That's me. Our grandkids even call her Grandma Camera. And they call him Grandpa Storyteller. Because all she does is take pictures to document everything. And all he does is tell stories. <laughs> and today we're having you here so we can have the Come Follow Me Companion class. And we're excited to share easy ways to make family history more a part of your lives. The Come Follow Me Companion is a collection of family history activities that have to do with every single week of Come Follow Me. So we've created this companion to Come Follow Me so that you can enrich your daily lives with family history activities. Things you might have always wanted to do and you have in the back of your mind, but this just makes it easy because it's correlated to what Come Follow Me is already giving you. Things that you're already studying in your home-centered approach. We love it. We love it. <laughs> it's on the free site called The Family History Guide. It's totally free and available for anyone get on the site and then as you open it up go to the main page as you're there just scroll to the bottom and you'll find a little statement that says the come follow me companion click on that and it'll open up and give you a chance to see this wonderful new resource From here, click on the schedule link and it opens up all the options from which to choose. You can also go back to former years. Let us show you an example. In this particular lesson, we brought in the content from Come Follow Me that talks about saints can be happy in any circumstances. We've added to that an activity that relates that to your personal life. In fact, showing that many of us have pioneer ancestors or someone we can relate to that might have been an example of how we can be happy in circumstances like that. What I love about this also is that there are so many activities from which to choose every single week. They are fun activities that enrich what you're studying with Come Follow Me and make family history come alive. One of the activity features that I love on the Family History Guide is correlated activities to Come Follow Me every single week. So I can log on, we do our Come Follow Me lesson, and then there's a little family history segment that gives me an idea of something we can just grab and go and do with our family instantly. It's so fun. So when we're together trying to do family history or family activities, it works a lot better when we do lots of different fun activities and they're active and involved and they're able to be creative, even imitate some of the things that their ancestors have done. They really like that. We really like to do activities with our kids to teach them family history because they pay attention more, they're more likely to remember what they've learned and apply it in their lives. One of the weeks when we were studying Come Follow Me, we pulled up the companion and that week invited us to do a digital museum. So we were invited to run through the house. We had five minutes to find something that was precious to us related to our family history. And it was so fun to see what the kids came up with. I went and found my great grandma's butcher knife. Look at this thing. It is so precious to me. This is where her little finger was. And it, it's worn out completely. I remember her using this um, for everything. And it was so fun to be able to share this with my kids and talk about her. And it was just an instant invitation. The, the activity was so successful because everybody grabbed something. There was a story associated with it. It was quick, easy, meaningful, done. 
During our museum activity, my son brought down something that was really special to him. When my mom asked me to get something special, I knew exactly what I was going to get. My grandpa Raspberry always helped us with our Pinewood Derby cars. This is the last Pinewood Derby car I made, and I made it the year after he died. And through trials and mistakes and so many mistakes, we ended up needing new wheels. And my grandma suddenly remembered that she had wheels that my grandpa Raspberry had hand sanded before he died. And ended up putting them on, and even though there were so many mistakes on it, I ended up winning first place in the Pinewood Derby car. It kind of makes me think like, he's pushing it down that track, you know? And through this experience, it made me feel so much closer to my grandpa Raspberry to know that he still cares on me through the other side. So here's another example from the Book of Mormon year. You can see that there are a variety of activities, some videos that you can look at to see how families are putting these principles into practice and doing the activities and having a blast. So remember, we were trying to find a way to get our grandchildren involved and turning their hearts to their ancestors. And we came up with the best idea. <laughs> it's crazy. So, Gather them together for this big fun activity. Let them look through Family Search and find out about their great grandparents, things they didn't know, and things that they could relate to. Welcome to Discovery Detective Night. The family we're going to explore is Grandpa Rule and Grandma Jan Clark. My mom and dad. And as our grandchildren, we want you to be able to see what they saw, touch what they touched, read and hear, and taste what they tasted. Our hope for you is to learn what they learned and feel what they felt. And each of you has an assignment to discover something about them. Isaac, Derek, Eli. Something that's special to me about my Grandma Jan is all the fun foods she makes and the recipes she has. I was able to go on Family Search and see fun pictures and stories of when we made them. In trying to understand my Grandpa Rule better, I looked up some information about his father, my great-great-grandfather, Orson Clark. Through the Family Search Discovery website, I learned he served a mission to Hawaii and I found a picture of him directing a mandolin band while he was there, which was super cool for me. I love when my grandma tells me stories about my ancestors. They're just, their lives are just so fascinating. And I just love seeing that they pushed through uh, their trials and they held strong. And so I know that I can too. And the Come Follow Me companion this week, it talks about conversion stories. The activity for this week has suggested to record the conversion of the first converts of our families. My grandma was the first convert in the church, and because of her uh, example, uh, my mom and my older sister and my older brother and I, we got baptized after her. We love the ideas that the Come Follow Me companion had for this week because normally I would not thought about it to record the conversion stories from our families. I feel so grateful to have all those records from the conversion of my family because my daughter now can enjoy 
and learn from our ancestors and that will help her to strengthen her testimony and to learn more from our families. As a busy mom, you know, I, I need things that I don't need to do a lot of preparation for. I need things that are ready to go. <laughs> the Family History Guide, my kids can get on there themselves and they can pull up activities, hundreds of activities. To me, that is so invaluable, a way for them to learn. Another thing that really stops people from getting involved in family history is, guess what? They don't know where to start. Really don't know what to do. But that's the whole idea of this, is it makes it all easy and the thinking's done for you. You can just integrate these activities and it gets you going. It gets you excited and able to put some family history into your life in a simple, easy, fun, exciting way. And the Family History Guide has provided that just by including the feature of the Come Follow Me Companion. So you just look it up, go there, see what works for you. You'll love it. <laughs> yeah. I love the spirit that comes in our home when we invite the spirit of Elijah by doing family history work. And I'm so grateful for the Come Follow Me Companion because it makes it easy, simple, it's ready to go. I love the feeling in the room when we bring up anything about our ancestors, study their lives, garner from their stories, and gather from their strengths. I am so grateful for this prepared experience because I'm busy. I would love to prepare a three-hour family history lesson for every Sabbath, but I don't get that done. So to be able to open it up and just grab something and do it and feel that beautiful spirit that comes in as we start to talk about our ancestors is just such a blessing. It's been a miracle for us and we look forward to it. It's just wonderful. These activities have helped me and my family to grow closer together. And while we grow closer and develop relationships, we grow closer to our ancestors. And through that, I've been able to find a foundation in who I am and who I can become. And the idea behind the Come Follow Me Companion is to do just that. <laughs>